Executor, I bring news most dire. The Cerebrate that we thought we had killed has arisen again. The creature's battered form was reincarnated despite the considerable damage we inflicted upon it. Even now, the Cerebrate drives its brood in preparation for their next offensive. It is as I feared. It was folly to believe Tassadar could be trusted. The Conclave will not soon forget his wanton betrayal. Nevertheless, we must stand resolute. For attacking defenseless Cerebrates is not the way of true Protoss warriors. We shall overcome the entire swarm with the might and the fury that is our heritage. Executor, we shall lead our main strike force to the province of Sion, which has fallen to the Zerg. It's time the Zerg felt the wrath of the Sons of Ayr. Prayer to Phoenix will remain here with a small detachment and guard Antioch from any further assaults. Adun be with you, Executor. Bring swift death to the enemies of Ayr. Executor, Antioch is under attack by overwhelming Zerg forces. Praetor, you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix, and know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Adun. Cerebrate, Duran, the time has come to separate the chaff from the wheat. Now that the UED's power base is broken on this world, only their forces on Char pose any significant threat to me. It's time to move to the second phase of my plan. And what of your allies here in Korhal, my queen? What would you have done with them? They are of no further use to me. Though they have proven themselves useful, it might be dangerous to allow them to live. Without the services of General Duke, Mengsk will be easy to deal with. But Raynor and Phoenix are uncannily resourceful. <sighs> they must all be eradicated. Cerebrate, I want both General Duke's and Phoenix's bases destroyed. Leave no one alive. My queen, if I may suggest a strategy. Both the Protoss and Terran forces are resting after our previous victory. If we attack immediately, while most of them are asleep and unaware, we can whittle down their defenses with relative ease. Clever. How long after our initial attack can we expect them to regroup and retaliate? I'd say in six minutes. That only gives us enough time to launch a surprise attack against one base, but it is a sound plan. Cerebrit, feel free to launch your initial attack against either base. Failure is not an option. Slaughter them all in my name. This is a betrayal most foul, Kerrigan. We were fools to have gone along with this charade. You're right, Phoenix. I used you to get the job done. 
And you played along just like I knew you would. You Protoss are also headstrong and predictable. You are your own worst enemies. That's ironic. I can remember Tassadar teaching you a very similar lesson on Char. I took that lesson to heart, Praetor. Now, are you ready to die a second time? The Kala awaits me, Kerrigan. And although I am prepared to face my destiny, you'll not find me easy prey. Then that shall be your epitaph. Phoenix! No. What are you worried about, Jim? He died the way all Protoss hoped to. In combat. He died because you betrayed him. How many more noble souls do you need to consume before you're satisfied? How many more people need to die before you realize what you've become? You don't even know what you're talking about, Jim. Don't I? I'll see you dead for this, Kerrigan. For Phoenix, and all the others who got caught between you and your mad quest for power. Tough talk, Jimmy. But I don't think you have what it takes to be a killer. It may not be tomorrow, darling. It may not even happen with an army at my back. But rest assured, I'm the man who's gonna kill you someday. I'll be seeing you.